Good morning. <clears throat> That's not a good start. Good morning. Uh, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Tim. He is Matt. And we're on our way to Heathrow because we are going to New York on today's vlog. And we're going to be there for three nights. It's nice and early. Well, it's not too bad. Half seven. I literally finished work half an hour ago. So. <laughs> fly out to Newark. Yeah. So we're right. just coming into Heathrow. Okay, so here we are in the pod parking. Matthew. Heavy demand. Heavy demand. Yes, because there is a big line. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. Yeah. Press the button to close the doors. We are going to Terminal 5. Just in case you forget that fun Ready fact. Press start. You're going to Terminal 5. There you go, how to doors closed. So yeah, these are all the little self-driving podcasts that take you around. Only T5 though. It's funny they didn't do it everywhere else. And that's the yeah. trap. Oh, 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 there we go. Journey from Terminal 5 takes 5 minutes. Five minutes. Okay, 5 minutes. They used to have little, the screens uh, they seem to work on this, but they tell you fun facts about how many buses this saves and stuff like that. That's what you need next to an airport. Now all the buses are electric. <laughs> True. But it takes the congestion off the roads. This is the way forward, but it wouldn't work if it was a big, massive yeah, car park. This is what they look like. Yeah, so, struggling to go uphill. Maybe I shouldn't have had the two croissants for breakfast. There we go. Yeah. We'll catch up with you when we are in the airport after we've dropped the bags off. We're only going for three nights, but we have got bags just because we always try and cram too much into the hand luggage. But yeah. All right, the baggage is dropped off. Uh, we use the self service because that's the queue for their club check in area. So we're going to go through here, which is also really busy. I made it through, it took a while. Bit of a hiccup in my passport. Mm -hmm. So we're going to tactically go to B gates because the lounge is quieter and nicer, and probably go from there, I guess. So oh, where is it? It's too busy here. It's very busy, but it's a long escalator. It's a long escalator. So we're going to go underneath. I don't know if we're going to tram or walk. 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 The there, we'll okay. Otherwise. We're just going to go to terminal B, which is there, because there's an, a lounge there which actually serves pretty much the same food as the gold lounge, but it's for, um, you know, silver and business class passengers. And it's a nicer lounge. So um, if you've got status, but you don't have gold and you, you know, you can't go into first class or Concorde lounge, then this is a good alternative. Highly recommend it instead of the North or South gate lounges, because they get too, oh, sorry, North or South, not South gate. They get too busy. You can get the tram if it's here, um, but it's probably quicker to walk if you've got to wait. There's a little walkway. So this is the walkway. Uh, it's about, what, five minutes? Five minutes? Yep. Yeah. If you're going to B, it's, it's not far. If you're going to C, it is a bit of a walk. Um, but it's quite nice after a flight. If you've landed at B gates uh, or even C gates and you want to have a stretch of the legs before going to grab your bags and through passport control or even connections, um, it's pretty good. Top tip, if you are going to use the walkway and not the tram, then from um, Terminal 5A, take the lifts down to minus four. If you take the escalator, you'll still have to go and get the lift. So you might as well just get it from the start. So, a little update. We thought we were being clever by going to B gates, because it's halfway between A and C, and 
typically we would fly from B or C for this type of flight. However, it is in fact a remote stand and they depart from A10. So we are walking back to A gates to go and get on a bus to get onto the plane, which will be interesting because it's a big plane. Thoughts? Plane. <laughs> yes. So anyway, see you shortly. And I would walk 500 miles. Yes, back in this bit again. Second time today, going to gates A10. So if you ever need to get a coach from A gates, it's always A10 and then there's A10, A, B, C. I don't remember if there's a D. Fact, in case you're getting this in the morning, you are not allowed to take hot drinks onto the coaches or the buses. They do not allow it because it's health and safety risk, of course. Uh, he's actually doing pretty well, considering no sleep, little sleep. So our plane is right next to the runway. We got the delight of steps up. Observation, these are GE engines rather than Rolls Royce. All right, look at that. Close. Timothy's the first on. So on the plane now, and quite quickly actually getting on board, straight to the gate, on the bus, on the plane. We took off ahead of schedule uh, and now already up. So I'm just going to enjoy this glass of champagne and then see already nearly past island I'm gonna have some food and then uh, get some sleep I think so I'm pretty tired now from uh, being up all night and then coming straight onto the plane so yeah I'll enjoy my champagne and speak to you in a bit I just realised I was recording without the microphone on, so <laughs> here we go again. Uh, so for starter, I've got the beef carpaccio uh, with some Pinot Noir. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give that a go. I have already tasted it. Um, then it is very nice. So yeah, going to look forward to have the rest of this. Uh, and then for my main, I've got the chicken curry because the main, the other main was uh, the reshaped lamb which is nice, I just don't like the texture of that. It's weird, I don't know, it's a me thing. The soup was uh, rejected, something really nice. And here's the curry. It looks good, it smells amazing. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. That's very tasty. Pleased with the uh, pleased with that choice. So he gets. If I do a five scale rating, I would say four out of five for Arabic food. the pudding we've got uh, it's down as a crunchy bar so far it's been two for two so I've got high hopes for this pudding let me just show you it looks very good I think Matt's gone for the cheese so let's give it a go it's three for three everything's been amazing on this flight so hmm very happy and I'm very happy because after this I get to go to sleep <laughs> I know it's good food right so I went for the cheese that looks okay doesn't it some bits and bobs so a little over an hour left to go now and I did manage to get some sleep had about three hours very broken sleep but I got some sleep so yay win um, 
to start hitting some turbulence as well as I started recording this. But uh, it's now time for afternoon tea, which I'm going to have this, and then pretty much be landing into uh, Newark. So that's what I've got to eat, my afternoon tea selection. So some sandwiches, scone, with clotted cream and jam. Are you jam first, cream first? And are you scone or scone? The real debate that divides the country. And tea. Slurpy slurp. Lovely. Uh, Matthew's had the same. He's in front of me, so there he is. security was very short uh, so yeah I'll be in the hotel in 55 minutes and we made it to the room in New York and that was a long journey coming from mm. the airport that took about an hour and 10, hour 20 from Newark. Long time. It was the Lincoln Tunnel bit that just was crazy. But, got your mid-eating chocolate. But yeah, no, very nice room. Spin the camera around. So the Intercontinental Times Square. There's a corner room. So one side we have, I think that's looking back towards New Jersey. And the other is looking south down 9th Avenue. So you've got uh, Times Square literally just round to the left. And uh, yeah, very nice. Right, let's have a look around. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. New York, that's a wonderful place. Right. We are on a little walkie round. So we just left the hotel, which is on the corner there somewhere. Yeah, that's sort of hiding the beach, uh, All right, let's go. Buildings are cool. Look at that. Who? <laughs> Wouldn't mind a little Duncan. Oh, really? A coffee, not a Modelo? It's half six. Just need a little perk up after a 91 hour week. And then straight on the plane. But yeah, it's definitely where Dello is being. Right, straight down and then left, I guess. Oh, John Duncan? If you want for coffee. He's going for a coffee. Right. What do you think? No, thanks. Single espresso. Got my teeny tiny cup that makes me look really, really big. Just needed something. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Onwards.
Busy, huh? But this is basically in the celebration, and this is just the beginning. We have another event for you tomorrow at the Leslie Lohman Museum at 4 p.m. We hope to see you all there. And as a thank you to the Times Square team, to Jean, to Jean, to Leo, for their forwards, and to every black trans film artist that is showing up and being honorable and making their voice heard. Thank you so much. Happy Trans Day of Visibility, y'all. Have a drink in there first. First, a quick slice from Ray's pizza. There we go. How's the slice? So you just had a slice at Ray's. How did you like it? Very good. It was very good. It was different though. It was like, wasn't the one we actually, I think we wanted, but it was nice. No, it was nice, <laughs> but it wasn't what I wanted. This is the repeat conversation we just had off. It was nice, but it wasn't what we ordered. Because it was... But it was nice. It was like, like pepperoni and mask, yeah. Or mascarpone. Mascarpone, ricotta, probably ricotta would make more sense. I think it was ricotta with pepperoni. It was a bit weird. There was no regular mozzarella cheese and there was no tomato. There was mozzarella on it. Was there? Yeah. Oh. Definitely. But it was, we just wanted yeah, just like, like cheese pepperoni, and pepperoni. Yeah. yeah. But it was nice. Tasty pepperoni. Yeah. And it was only 11 euro, uh, dollars. Yeah, but we're used to Vegas pricing, as you said, so that didn't yeah, sound Yeah, I thought too that bad. was like for one slice. It was $19 for two beers next door, uh, which again is normal. fine because we're used to, yeah. So uh, yeah, next well, that's door not at a big the. Beer, right? No, American pints are smaller than. Yeah, but you've got first pints, and that's. Because that's not a. Uh... What's that called in Germany? Lady, lady beer. <laughs> yeah. Um, lady beer. So yeah, we've read the playwright to obviously one of these touristy Irish bars, but they're very nice, easy going. So cheers, first beer of the holiday. <laughs> So we lost the battle with the cold, even with the outdoor heaters, it got too cold, so we came indoors. Which now means Matthew can order his chicken wings, which I secretly want as well. Still in the same pub, or bar, sorry. On to the uh, chicken wings. Suitably spicy. Yeah, my lips are tingling. Tasty though. Not worth twenty dollars for six, but there we go. They are nice, to be fair. Uh, so back in Times Square at night. It looks so amazing. I always hear Americans hate Times Square. I don't know why. This place is as it should be. Loud, outrageous, smelly, and incredible. Matthew. It's chilly, it is. I won't lie. Guess where we are? I'm not looking. <laughs> He's not looking, but... So we've come upstairs to the uh, Disney shop 
Have a little look. It's a massage the cantina. Phew. I'm glad he walked away from that because it's massive. <laughs> My worry is where the hell would it go? Sorry? Nothing. Carry on. Oops. Well, you're going to see this video anyway. But, uh, hmm. This is a little Disney bubble on Times Square. So, literally, the other side of that is Times Square. Well. Nothing? Okay. Alright, we're going back downstairs. Uh, where next? Downstairs? Um, have a look on the ground floor, or first floor. Um, slowly head back. It's not late, it's like half eight, but... I mean, I'm tired. It's half one in the morning. Okay. okay. That is Times Square. That way. So, yep. <coughs> This way. Oh, I quite like that. That's nice. I was looking at that if you're shopping. I like that. <coughs> Oh, I like that one. Oh, I think it's a girl's one. Is it? Lots of mugs. No. Yes. Oh, Star Wars. Oh, let's watch for the magpie. Oh, I thought you would have been tempted. I said, watch for the magpie. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. You've avoided extra tasks in the house. Always good. Right, let's go. Oh, Aladdin. Mr. Aladdin, sir. How much is that? Oh, $65. For a jumper. $65 for that. A tiara. Do you want a tiara? Doing a rubber lamp. Oh, a rubber lamp. That is not worth sixty-five dollars. Anyway. So. Oh, that one's okay because it is embroidered. <clears throat> hmm. It feels good as well because some of the crews in here feel like they've been. Uh, Hmm. I feel like that will be a purchase later. Mm -hmm. Right, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. <clears throat> okay, I have had a long day, long flights. It is half one in the morning at home. Good to go out? Yep, good to go out. Oh, it's Right, into the abyss. Oh. <clears throat> Have to show you this bus going around. Hopefully the traffic lights don't change. Ah, oh, they have. Basically, I oh, can't see. But all the seats face outward <laughs> as it goes around. I mean, it's a good idea, but you can't see. Right, we're gonna get some racing canes and then head back to the hotel. Raising Cane just way too busy. So we're trying our first ever Chick-fil-A. Take it back to the hotel, which is next door, yep. and then call it a night. So I suppose rather than showing you our Chick-fil-A burgers, 
probably good enough to be a sign off for tonight so thank you for watching this one and we'll catch you tomorrow which is either going to be straight away after this one if there's not enough content or the next vlog either way see you in the next one bye, bye.